What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Before we get to those pitches, remember, hit that subscribe button. If you love baseball, join Ninja Nation. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Clayton Kershaw, who had six Ks in five innings, giving up three runs on six hits. He had these nasty sliders and had this 93-mile-an-hour fastball. But his pitch of the game was this 75-mile-an-hour curveball to Profar. Look at the side view of this pitch, and look how far out in front of the plate this thing bounces. That is incredible. A little Javi Baez-ish. Christian Yelich also explained why you might swing at a curveball that bounces way in front of the plate. Here's an overlay of that lawn dart curveball with Kershaw's low 91 mile an hour fastball. This fastball was a strike, and now maybe you can see why you might swing at that curveball. It does tunnel really well with the fastball and then just totally dies. David Adler from MLB said this would be negative 2.19 feet at home plate. So you can say this pitch was literally tunneled because it created its own tunnel. And check out the dot from Pitch Tracker on this. I'm pretty sure that's considered cyberbullying. Yu Darvish had 7 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 3 runs, and showcases fastballs, including this sinker. Look at the movement on this. He also had this elevated cutter, and had two very nice 69 mile an hour curveballs. One of these somehow was called a ball, and it was painful because later in that at bat, Muncy hit a home run. The other one was about as nice as you get, and even the home plate umpire appreciated it. Here's you Darvish's slow curveball grip. Same as curveball. Okay, so the difference between the regular curveball and um, the EFIS curveball would be that regular curveball, you're trying to release it sort of in front versus the EFIS, you're trying to you have the image of releasing it um, on the back side. From here. Yeah. To up. The way. Zach Wheeler had five Ks in six innings, giving up three runs on only four hits. And he showcased mostly his fastball and curveball combo. And you can see why in this overlay. That fastball and curveball form a lethal combination for hitters. My filthiest starter of the day was Kyle Wright. Wright had six Ks in six innings and had a totally sick curveball working, got this sword on a curveball, and had this curveball for a called strike, although the robo-umps would disagree. Wright also had this dirty changeup. Yuck. Here's an overlay of Wright's fastball and curveball, and you can see what makes this so tough to hit. Wright's curveball plays so well with his fastball. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Robert Suarez had this 101 mile an hour fastball. Blake Trinan didn't have a great appearance, but check out the movement of this 97 mile an hour two seamer. I don't think I could do that with a wiffle ball. Tommy Canely had these absolutely disgusting changeups and K'd the side. Rysel Iglesias had this 96 mile an hour fastball and was on the bump for this amazing catch by Austin Riley. I don't know how you do that. Speaking of incredible plays, Bruce Star Gratterall had this terrific play on this safety squeeze. My man Bruce Star is a cat. Josh Hader had this elevated 98 mile an hour fastball. Kenley Jansen had this elevated cutter. And my filthiest reliever of the day was Yensi Almonte. Almonte K'd the side due to his filthy sinker and slider combo and just totally dismantled Matty Machado in this sequence. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. As you might have seen, we had a goose land on the field last night. It might have been trying to close the game like another goose for the Padres. And lastly, we have Manny turning into a meme. I matched him up with Robert Redford. Identical. What is up, Ninja Nation? We won our three-leg parlay yesterday with Zach Wheeler, Clayton Kershaw, and you Darvish all hitting their numbers and back to try to make it two in a row today. I'm going to take a four-leg parlay with Nestor Cortez for 5Ks or more, Shane Bieber for 6Ks or more, Luis Castillo for 5Ks or more, and Framber Valdez for 6Ks or more. 
what would your picks of the day be? 